My name is Emily Danforth, and I'm a proud apocalypsy, and also the author of the novel The Miseducation of Cameron Post, which looks like this. I have a prop. I have lots of props today. Um, fan of the props. It's a novel told from Cam's perspective from the essentially the, the age of 12 to 15, um, and, and probably most importantly, you should know that on the day that both of her parents die tragically, leaving her an orphan, um, is the same day that, that she kisses a girl, her friend Irene Clausen, up in a hayloft for the first time. And so those two events are always inextricably linked in her mind. Uh, and for the next several years, you follow Cam as she tries to figure things out, things about fate and religion and her place in the world um, in a very confusing world. I would undoubtedly recommend The Miseducation of Cameron Post to any reader who enjoys the clear themes presented, such as love, heartbreak, social justice or the lack thereof, friendship, religion, and finding your place in this world. I believe no matter how you identify as far as your sexual orientation or gender, everyone can relate to some aspect of Cam's journey in this novel. That's what makes it such a good read. As far as teaching the novel, there could be some limitations. Pedagogically speaking, though, this novel exemplifies many literary aspects. Of course, character development is huge. Character relationship development, many overarching themes mentioned previously, and themes that would further involve analyzing and evaluating the text for interpretation. It goes without saying that this book comes from the perspective of a minority culture, and it could really have the potential to impact students. I could see the use of persuasive essays, discussions, um, reflective papers, poetry, and multimedia projects being a fun teaching activity because this novel is so relevant to your students' reality. However, with all the good that can come from teaching this novel, teachers should be prepared for the graphic content that may not be suitable for whole group discussions. The sexual content in this novel is extremely descriptive and occurs relatively frequently throughout the text. Underage drinking and drug use also occurs enough throughout the story. Also, the reality is the topic of homosexuality in some communities is very controversial. So, unfortunately, the teachers should be educated on the culture of their students before teaching this book. With that being said, if you believe your students are at an age level or maturity level to discuss those aspects openly with their teacher, I say go for it. And if you're the kind of teacher who would rather students learn some of those things from you than on the streets, maybe the miseducation of Cameron Post is for your classroom as well. To leave you with a final thought, we all became teachers to evoke change, and as a student, we are also responsible for our education. Reading this novel through the perspective of a minority could be another step towards ending ignorance and moving towards equality.